This is the LFX engine that's going to be transplanted into the LLT if it becomes possible. But the engine assembly is done, finished, and ready for install. It's a 2014 brand new engine and transmission with all the modifications made for the twin turbo setup already in the vehicle all of the gauging, all of the extras. We have nitrous for a 50 horsepower hole shot only. We hardly ever would use that. And we also have water meth injection, a dual stage snow system. We have the oil supply coming right from the pump and going out to the coolers and filters and back into the engine. Manifolding for gauges, vacuum, boost sources. Transmission. Cooling lines for the filters and coolers for the transmission. Quadruple wrapped downpipe stainless steel because the turbochargers are mounted in the rear and the entire system is insulated keep the heat energy in all we have to do now is work out the compatibility issues between the new Delphi ECM and the body control modules on the LLT and that is a tremendous effort and a hold up right now but working on it. We're forging ahead. This is it. We have everything in place and hooked up for our critical test to see whether this is going to work or not. The two harnesses from the LFX engine are plugged into the body we have fuel from the fuel supply pump in the tank going into the LFX engine as well as the canister connection. So this should act as a complete entity, as a car, as a vehicle. And if the body control modules recognize and communicate properly, this should be a success. And if not, then we have a problem. The new computer is in place. And we are ready. Okay, we finished the test. I took a break, rolled the engine transmission assembly back into the shop, and we printed out some of the data. And we'll go through this real quick. We have several codes here generator, 
F terminal and L terminal, which are expected because we don't have the generator hooked up, or the alternator, that is. We have an immobilizer key not programmed, which we would expect because we had disabled VATS in order to make this project happen. Another code, immobilizer key not programmed, we expect that because of VATS disabled. Barometric pressure sensor, circuit voltage low. We did um, remove the pressure sensor from the MAF sensor to locate it outside of the airstream because we're turbocharged and apparently maybe I missed a connection on that. That is not anything of significance except it is not correct and I'm going to have to correct that to get a more stable engine idle. So that's not of any concern. We have a lost communication with transmission control module which we expect because at the time we did the test, we hadn't programmed the transmission, which subsequently has been done. So that code will not be there on next startup. We have a O2 low voltage bank one sensor two code, which we expect because that's after the catalytic converters, which are not on here. Therefore, we will just disable that. Crankshaft position system variation not learned. That is a code that is thrown because we ha don't have the ability to run the engine for extended period of times on the highways and the, the engine control module, that is a computer, will eventually learn that and that code will go away. We have a brake pedal position sensor circuit low voltage. That one is one that we can't explain at this time except that maybe we need to replace that with a late model sensor to get correct uh, circuit voltage. Uh, that one is unexplained but nothing that we don't think we can overcome. So with that being said, we have established communications with a new operating system. The car and all of the body control modules in the car, which are numerous, are talking effectively and efficiently with the engine. And this is, in my opinion, a success.